722 NASDAQ composite, the big composite. Look at this big composite. Look at the trend. There is a five on the sixth day. We have a sell. We had a sell on the third day where there was some institutional selling on light volume. And we had the two up days on the lighter volume. But that three day upside, start with gap, start with small gap, goes up, makes the high yesterday, and then today comes down. 50 day moving average is right there at 11.5 on the comp. So we're going to look for key levels. We're going to see if we can travel up to the 100 day. We do not see a doom and gloom yet until we get into the Apple earnings and the Microsoft and the Google next week and the Facebook next week. And there is a lot of bellwethers coming out next week. So there's going to be a big slew, everybody. And it's going to be one big tidal wave of earnings. And then what will the sentiment be? They had bad sentiment when Snap dropped and dropped this rally. The rally's still there. But let's not forget, the rally starts with the gap. It goes three days, four days, five days, then the sixth day. Okay, that is how many upside rally days this composite gave from its very deep selling that happened in June and then they have these up days going in and if those earnings come in good we are off to the races I can tell you right now if these earnings that I just mentioned McDonald's will be reporting, Whirlpool will report. There's going to be a slew of them, and the big ones will be the market movers. Right now, as we read the closing Friday, there is nothing wrong with the six-day breakout trend. The support level is right at that 50-day for the NASDAQ composite, and very good luck over the weekend but most importantly, next week.